Hello, everybody. I believe we are doing fine. Today, we'll be discussing on the nature and magnitude of transportation problems in developing countries. Nature of transportation problems in developing countries. Solving transportation problems is one of the chief tasks confronting governments in developing countries. Mostly, in all the developing countries, transportation problem has not eased. On the contrary, they seem to get worse. They seem to get worse. Urban transport problem is developed in developing countries are mostly managed by building larger and better roads. But building road is not the solution. Building road is not the solution to transportation problems. What are the problems? Abstinence and inadequacy of clear court policy on the part of the government. The policy debated, discussed, proposed, and strategized by a political leader, political parties, independent politicians who are elected to unity government for the creation, development, and maintenance of transport system within their jurisdiction that then get enacted is what is called policy. Nothing should have felt this to work if not for our political self-consideration on what gains they can get there. Another factors for absence inadequacy is lack of continuity. If after expiration of previous elected politicians that control the policy, the new elected should build and amend the necessary ones, this inadequacy wouldn't have gone to be a great problem in our transportation system. lack of modern multimodal transportation according to our last class we discovered we discussed about multimodal transportation which is also known as combined transport the movement of goods using more than one different mode of transportation but under the terms of a single contract but performed with at least two different modes of transport the carrier is liable in a legal sense for the entire carriage, even though it is performed by several different modes of transport. But it is obvious that most of our developing countries do not practice the use of modern multimodal transportation, which could have helped. So if, it, if multimodal transportation can be introduced to our developing countries, it will help in solving transportation problems that we are suffering from non-availability of effective and adequate private sectors for transportation sectors. Private sectors can improve public transportation sectors in so many ways, which would have given great impacted impacts positive on economics. But it is unfortunate, most developing countries lack private sector participatory in transportation part of which private sectors could do is purchasing of infrastructure facilities from the government and operate them more efficiently subject to general businesses law. This is called privatization. This could develop technological advance that greatly improve the operation of transportation modes that use the infrastructure and they could develop technological innovation that the public sectors could implement to improve current infrastructure performance. Unrealistic regulation of transport. Unrealistic regulation of transport. 
regulation is a general guidelines and rules that guides our policies. Regulations are indispensable to the proper functions of the economies and societies which underpin markets, protect the right and safety of the citizens and ensure the delivery of public goods and services. Majorly in our developing countries, their later regulations are not real. As many of the transport department and agency do not even check back the guidelines that surround transport system of such countries. But rather, they take laws into their hand. There is a brief, there is a belief that when comparison of regulation is done among countries to check mates and to check balance, it will go a long way. Part of the problem of unrealistic regulations are corruption practice, bad rules, bad condition of work, lack of adequate finance for public sectors, lack of adequate finance for public sectors. When the roles of the government in the economy is lacking in transportation system in the country, it affects all aspects of such countries because public finance is the branch of economics that assesses the government's revenue and expenditure of the public authorized and an adjustment of one or the other to achieve desirable effect and afford undesirable ones. Road safety problems. Road safety problem. This can be described as the number one problem facing almost all developing countries recently. Nothing work right when the roads are bad. Nothing work right when the roads are bad, for it is the most processed means of transportation that anyone can do with. But it is so unfortunate that the same means has become unsafe for people because of the lack of maintenance, which end up in killing and injuring masses. lack of coordination among transport related agency lack of coordination among transport related agency coordination among transport related agency is another factors that help in improving transportation services especially for those who cannot provide transportation for themselves Coordination can mean real improvements in community transportation and more efficient use of resources. However, most of developing countries lack this coordination that would have helped in transport improvements. Absence or inadequacy of traffic management techniques, absence or inadequacy of traffic management techniques. Poor traffic management works to create the safe. Proper traffic management works to create the safe 
orderly and efficient movement of persons and goods, while also aiming to protect the qualities of local environment. But when a country lacked all these factors listed, it becomes a problem for all what management is supposed to provide comes in inadequately. Absence of traffic management techniques create more traffic congestion and increase the consequence of congestion. Conjection occur when the traffic demand exceeds the road capacity. However, traffic can be managed in various ways, such as improvement perception of buses, use of CCTV camera to monitor road conditions, environmental pollution, environmental pollution this is a significant problem because transport is a major use of energy and burn most of the world petroleum which creates air pollution including nitrous oxide and particulates as a significant contribution to global warming through emission of carbon dioxide within the transport sectors, road transport is the largest contributor to global warming. Road transport is the largest contributor to global warming. Magnitude of transport problem. Magnitude of transport problem. Cities and towns play a factor role in promoting economic growth and prosperity, though less than one third of developing countries lives in cities and towns. This area generates over two thirds of country income, incomes and accounts for high percentage of government revenue. In the nearest future, developing countries become more and more urbanized. Urban areas will play a critical role in sustaining high rates of economic growth. Economic growth momentum can be sustained if and only city function effectively, effectively that their resources are used to maximize the city contribution to national incomes. City efficiency largely depends upon the effectiveness of transport systems. Poor transport systems steals economic growth and development, and the net effect may be a loss of competitiveness in both domestic as well as international markets. Worse congestion, delay pollution, and accidents are part of the significant problem faced by developing countries. Inadequate transport facility retard the process of social economic development in a country. In a country heavily polluted country, managing different aspects of transportation is a difficult task. The most important problem concerning highways transportation professional is that of highly safety. There's also a growing concern over the high degree of air pollution in cities of developing cities and countries. It is evident that most pollution is caused by motor vehicles. Also, the growing trend towards private transportation increased congestions. Despite the efforts of governments, 
the number of accidents and fatalities are increasing year in, year out. And the environment is becoming more polluted without any street environment regulation. Roads are getting more congested, more and more of vehicles that traveled on them. We have type of transportation problems. Please note that after this lecture, there is a question of assessment at the last slide. Type of transportation problems. We have unbalanced transportation problems. This is where the total availability at the origin is not equal to the total requirement at the destination. That is where there's difference in total of demand and supply. Balanced transportation problem. This is when the no number of units available at the supply origin is equal to the number of items available at demand destination. That is if the total demand and supplies are equal. Thank you for listening.